What is up, my squirrel lights? Desire King back with more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we finished off the remainder of Five Island and um entered and made it to Six Island. So now we're gonna continue through this place of happiness, which isn't really a place of happiness, and go through Ruin Valley, which conveniently has a lot of hikers when I want to train Flare. Great. All right, so let's move these aside and we can grab this item that's right here. I I don't think there are any TMs in the after game. So don't worry about that. Um, it's an HP up, as a matter of fact. So that, that's useful. It might be. I don't know. They, our EVs might be all maxed out at this point. Uh, oh, you have a. You're gonna fight us. Okay, that's cool. Uh, is this a scientist? Oh, it's a Pokemaniac. So I was gonna say, if it's a scientist, you might have Magneton. No, instead he's got something that Flare can't do a lot of damage to. Great. Um, well, I guess I can use Dig, which I will, just because it's a right horn. If it was right on, I'd switch, but. I think Flair's got this guy. Not that difficult, right? Right? <sighs> you know, I think Flamethrower actually might do more just because Rhyhorn's special defense is that bad. I'm gonna throw up Sunny Day, and then I'll just sweep the rest of this team. I can't believe I'm still faster than this Rhyhorn, by the way. That's just sad. That is just sad. It uses freaking scary face, and I'm still faster. I mean, yes, I get, okay, Ninetales is super fast, and Rhyhorn is super slow, but that just tells you how slow Rhyhorn is. It is so slow. And that's the thing. I would think that Rhyhorn and Rhydon would actually be kind of fast, because aren't um, Rhinos kind of quick? Like, I mean, at least they can, I mean, they take forever to accelerate, but once they get fast, they get freaking fast. So, I don't know. They're just really good at running in a straight line. Whatever. Oh, wait, no, that's Lie Noon. What am I talking about? <laughs> Alright. I'm actually... Speaking of that, I'm... Something that, I don't know, it's just... One of the reasons I've always loved Pokemon so freaking much, and I cannot believe I didn't take it out. That's stupid. Um, one of the reasons I've always loved Pokemon so darn much is just because of the little things, the little quirks. Like, for instance, Ninetales, um... As is canon, Ninetales is the one one of the few fire types out there next to Arcanine that actually enjoys the water. Um, even yes, it's still weak to water, but Ninetales and Arcanine can swim. They can swim in water, and they don't um, hate it or despise it in any way, sh shape, or form. They actually like the water. I mean, so I always thought that was interesting. There's a few of those little, you know, interesting facts out there. And there's even proof by this. If you if you ever watched the what is it, um, the second Pokemon movie. Um, when all of the Pokemon are, you know, they're all trying to converge to that one spot, which is right near where all the events are happening and stuff like that. Um, and the Pokemon are flying, swimming, um, and then the ones that are on land are have to wait by the shoreline. Um, you can see a Ninetales swimming, or like one or two Ninetales actually swimming in the water in that movie. So that's just further proof. Um, and I always thought that's just something that's really cool. And then, you know, I just like those little facts about it. You know, it's kind of funny. Also, Pseudowoodo has the best name in Pokemon history. Get it? Pseudo Wood? Oh? Yeah? Get it? Because it's a fake tree, it's actually a rock? Eh. It's so bad. I don't know, I find it funny. I really do find it funny. And then, um, I think Bonsly. I don't know, I mean, yeah, it's like, it's supposed to be like a Bonsai, but it's a lie? I don't know. The bonsai is a lie. I don't know. It's, I don't know. That stuff just fascinates me. It does. It's one of the reasons I always liked Pokemon as a kid. Um, because just part of me is just really interested in stupid random facts. Just for no reason. It's the stuff I remember the best, to be honest. Um, like, I can quote a lot of just random crap that nobody would ever in the right mind care about, but I don't know. It's just information that I'm really good at retaining. Yeah, let's use this HP up on... Who's got our worst HP? Um, as a matter of fact, Fluffy does. It's weird. I mean, Evolutions, they, for the most part, they do have pretty good um, um, HP. A pretty good HP stat. Then again, none have as good of an HP stat as um, Umbreon or Vaporeon, of course. But yeah. I mean, all around, I think they're still pretty good in that area. All right. uh, freaking more hikers. You're just not making this easy on Flare, are ya? So well, this is a ruined maniac, so this shouldn't be so bad. Just flamethrower the crap out of him. He's got Graveler Onyx. Yep, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. 
Uh, all right, let's let's use Sunny Day. Let's try to see if we can sweep this guy with flamethrower. Rock blast. Crap. Oh, oh, wow! That did a lot more than I thought it would. Rock blast sucks usually, but that's not sucking at all. Oh gosh. Well, Flare didn't survive that. Jeez. I thought Rock Blast said, like, each hit only 15 base power of damage. Jeez, whatever. Alright, fast around. You can take this thing out really easy. Oh! Okay. Okay, I'm still good. I can use Ice Beam. But freaking, I totally forgot that I just laid a sunny day down. Alright, at least I can just... I can still use that. That's not affected by Sunny Day, only the water moves are. Onyx. Get Bass Ran up to level 56. And I'm actually going to revive, um, let's see, I, I think Flare just barely leveled up, so I think I could just use a rare candy on her. And that should get her to level 57 and actually revive her, too. Because remember, rare candies, um, their HP, like the HP difference between the max and what they have left doesn't change. So, like, if they have, like, let's fast around 159 HP, but he's fainted, um, if he levels up, his HP will go, like, stat will go up 3, so then he'll actually be revived with 3 HP. You know, that's, so Rare Candies actually work as revives, too. If need be. But revives are obviously more ideal, because Rare Candies are so, well, rare. Anyway. SRN getting up there and that attack set. I don't. I want to make sure he has a base power of 100 on that physical attack set before this LP is over. And he most likely will because I'm gonna have my entire team in like the level like the high 60s by the end of this. So don't you people worry. Um, uh, let's just check um, Flair's base stats real quick. Well, should I use the rare candy on Flair? I don't know. Nah, let's just not. Yeah, you see, he had quite a few experience over. Um, leading into the next level, so let's just use a revive. I've got plenty to spare anyway, and even more money to buy them with. Let's use a hyper potion. Let's go on to the next trainer. Let's flare it up! <laughs> That's a joke that doesn't even work. Okay. I don't even know why I said that. I really don't, honestly. I really don't. Golem! Well... This, actually, actually, that might be a good idea to switch out. I don't think Flare would actually have a chance against that thing. This Golem is really powerful. Not to mention, that would really start to hurt, like, just two turns later. Um, let's just use Surf. This will go down in one hit to Surf, but um, the Flare probably would not stand a chance against that thing, even with Sunny Day Flamethrower combo. <coughs> oh, boy. Okay, um... Well, that actually wasn't so bad. Anyways, um, on to the next trainer. Yes, another one. It's probably still a ruined maniac, but still, there are so many of them. Oh shit! I just forgot something. I need to go back and get an HM slave and get come all the way back here after this fight. That's just lovely. Oh, son of a. Man, I am just not thinking ahead anymore. I'm usually really good about thinking ahead when I let's play. I'm just not doing that right now. And that's a problem. That's a huge problem. Okay. Well, I'll show you why I need to go back and get an HM Slave in just a minute. So, um, before I actually do that. So, let's just take this guy's team out. Critical hit. That definitely helped. Alright. The next he's going to send out just another Machoke. Every time I see the name of Choke, I just, uh, it's so funny to me. I mean, it's like Machop, Karate Chop, Machamp. He's the champion, alright? That's cool. Machoke, the freaking, like, the guy who creeps behind you in the night and strangles you to death. Choking is not a fighting move. It has nothing to do with fighting. It's killing. That's evil. Jeez. Anyways. We need, okay, so up here, um, the mechanic that was used a lot in Generation 3, for whatever reason, was... Braille. Now, don't ask why, but they just because especially since you can't have like dots on a on a Game Boy Advance, it wouldn't work. At least physical dots. I mean, you can only have these pictures. But anyways, um, in that cave um, on Mount Ember, there was actually kind of a code, 
it, you, it would connect, it would basically show, it showed the braille alphabet basically for the game, all right? And this, um, first letter is C, second letter is U, and the third letter is T. So we need cut to get through this door. That's why I need an HM slave. So I will meet you guys right back here in just a bit. Okay, we are back, and I have to ding with me. Now, you can't just click the door, you know, press A on the door, and it will automatically do it. You have to go into your Pokemon, go to Chiding, and you have to actually use cut that way. Which is a very weird thing. Cut the door down. It looks like it's metal, but whatever. Anyways, welcome to the dotted hole, everybody. Um, the dotted hole, um, basically, this is all you see. You see there's four holes. If you select the wrong one, you won't um, progress. Now, this is actually very easy to do. As you can see, it's only two braille letters, so the obviously, it's either up, left, down, or right, and the only two-letter word of those four is up, so that's going to be up. It's pretty easy to figure it out that way. Um, and that is going to be either left or down. Um, oh, okay, so that fourth letter was the same as um, the T uncut, so that's going to be left. All right. And then this is right. And then it's going to be down, I believe. Right? Yes, it is. Okay, so it's up, left, right, down. You never take the same, go the same direction twice. But anyways, that's all there is to it. And let's just grab the sapphire. Awesome. So now we have the ruby and the sapphire. How cool... What the heck? <laughs> I guess right. I was right in tailing you. I knew that there was a sapphire here, so it belongs to me. You son of a... Hey! Hey! What do you mean after you sell it? What are you talking about? Uh, where the password now is yes na chancy, which is yes na chancy backwards. I'm done. Don't think badly of me. I do think badly of you. Dude, dude, I am a Sapphire owner, not a Ruby owner. I own Pokemon Sapphire, and that is the game I have put in more hours into than any video game in history. You jerk. I wanted that Sapphire. Screw Ruby version. Kyogre beats Grout on any day, especially since Kyogre has the type advantage, and there's really no chance for Grout on unless, for some reason, Sunday get the day activates second. I don't know. Really, Kyogre is better, so go Sapphire, and I want my Sapphire back now. Alright, so let's just move Pokemon. Alright, let's switch you back for Chiding. Ooh, I don't know why I even took Chiding's stick away from him, and then I keep it in my inventory. The only thing that can use the stick is Farfetch'd anyway. It's like, what is it? Is, there's no point keeping it in my inventory. Anyways, we are going to go back to the Rocket Warehouse very soon, but first things first... Um, let's actually jump into the water, and let's start surfing, surfing upwards, because there are trainers to be had, or to be fought, anyway. Most, almost all of them are water-type trainers, so, um, it's actually not a wise idea to have Flare out here again. Dang it, we're going to have to use Gekigami again. Oh, okay, at least I can use Dig on this thing. Um, but we're only going to, this is actually going to be the last trainer we take out in this video, and then I'm going to be ending it. Sadly, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I don't know what with, was with that fake, crappy British accent there, but anyways, next she's gonna send out a lantern. Uh, I'll just use Dig and chance it. Maybe I can take it out. Um, lantern has a very high HP stat, and it's got one of the coolest typings and move sets like ever. But aside from that, you know, it's not that great. Like its stats in general aren't are not really above mediocre. Um, but the fact that it, you know, can learn Thunder, I mean, it can utilize Rain Dance very well, both being a Water type and a Pokemon that can learn Thunder, um, and get same type attack bonus on both Water moves and Electric moves. So that's what that's one re reason it's incredibly good. Um, so giving this thing Rain Dance, Thunder, and then like any Water move, especially like Hydro Pump or just its really powerful one, makes it a total beast. But um, Again, it's typing isn't that good, and it's really slow. I mean, not it's typing, I mean it's base stats aren't really that good. That's what I meant! Anyways, and I think we'll now use the Rare Candy on Flare, so he'll be good, or she'll be good to go, and then we can now start using the rest of our team. Alright, so let's do that. But anyways, um, and that's actually going to be it for this video. So with that, guys, this has been... And man, Flare is that close to having base stats above 100 all across the board. Um... With that, this has been the Squirtle King. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe if you have not already. Um, also, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and don't forget to, check bleh, forget to check out my Twitter and my Facebook page. Links are all in the description below. I will see you guys next time for more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green.